I was hoping for some clarity on what uh, discussions over the weekend looked like. Last week, you were pretty adamant that this should just be budget, and then, and then evidently something changed, and even these three unemployment bills were Senate bills, which indicates that you had really signed on to this effort. So can you help me understand what moved you to that place before Monday? Well, let's be frank. When I said no policy bills, I paid a heavy price for that because you can highlight the police accountability. When you see the number of bills that wanted to come in and didn't, I'm just going to leave you at that. Uh, I think there was a, a major, I remember the speaker and I talked and it appeared that the house, we were really getting in trouble if we didn't at least look at the police accountability measures. I worried about that, but I was willing to look at it because it appeared to me that that was a very explosive situation. But I also thought the bills were not ready to go. They were not. And so on Friday morning, I called Senator Manning and said, can you make it happen in a way that if the bill comes out really thoroughly vetted. And he said, I'll see. And by seven o'clock that night, he had done it. My decision to allow those bills was a situation where when you're in this kind of position in a bicameral legislature and you're going into a special session, you know that most of the members are not gonna have anything to do. And boy, that showed light yesterday. They don't have anything to do. Only the people on these special committees have something to do. You, you better be careful about how much pressure you've got coming your way, going into these sessions. So I made a decision that on the police accountabilities that I would, I would so do that. The, I have really very little to say about those other bills because you're right, I'm just looking at their Senate Bill 1701, 1703, well, 1702, three. For the life of me, those things came in and I told the speaker last Friday, I, I can't commit on those bills. I, I don't know where it's all going on. I'm not sure. We don't know what's in them, et cetera. Okay, we'll just, and I made a mistake because she says, we agree, she says, well, let's just go forward and see where it is. I know you can't promise the vote. Right then, I should have, knowing my history, I should have said, no, 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 no. We are either going to have a plan on those or we're not going to do them. And I didn't do it. So, you know, uh, it, it, I'm not going to make excuses. Uh, that bothers me because I'm better than that. And I'm, I'm still scratching my head where those bills came from. The governor and I talked last night. She was mad at me and others, but that is something that should not have happened. That's, I'll, I'll just leave it at that. And uh, it did get in, but when you say I changed my mind, I didn't change my mind on all policy bills. If you have any idea the number of policy bills that they were being pushed, it, it was extraordinary. And none of those bills were taken up because we had to get the budget passed and I thought, I think at times last night from the House, the budget was, they, they, they even shot, well, for a while, they actually had defeated a major budget bill in the House. I was concerned it might happen even in the Senate, but thankfully it didn't. So I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to go too far away from the budget. So I did allow those two major policy areas to come in. I was convinced because they brought in all the players Manning did on both sides, including the state police and the police chiefs, that those bills could go. But I did change my mind. I felt the temperature of this building, the, 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 the anger, the pressure, the stress was such that probably we need to show the, do those bills, but I wanted them done as comprehensively and fairly as possible. I think they were. So that's why I changed my mind. So just a brief follow-up. It sounds like the governor was not applying pressure for on you as much as the the speaker to to get those bills introduced is that is that right well i don't that's not a fair question i don't pick and choose the speaker i mean i i think they're very good bills i'm not quite sure where they came from now i i think uh, i mean i let's just put it this way i probably i should have said somewhere i didn't have much time I, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're not ready on these bills. Uh, there's no doubt that the speaker was very intense on those bills. And clearly you'll know that, you'll know, ask her that. The governor herself really didn't push me at all on those bills until I called her last night and she was upset that the one bill went down, 1702. But I can't say the governor pushed me or really leaned into me. The speaker was leaning in uh, and I was trying to explain that these things are coming in so late. Do we, do we know what we're doing on them? So I suppose you could say the, yeah, the speaker had 
was coming at me much harder on those bills than the governor. But it appears from the governor's conversation last night, she wanted all those bills. So uh, you're right. You're right. I'll just leave it at that.